Hello, my name is Don and welcome to my first ever FM18 video. We're taking over as Paris Saint-Germain. Quite keen to do this save, I've been planning a couple of saves that we're maybe thinking about and I've decided to go with Paris Saint-Germain. This is the beta so please remember that it isn't a final game yet, it's still under development a little bit. It's not released, it won't be released until the 10th of November. Only people who pre-ordered before a certain date got this, so I did that to make sure I could get through it all. So let's have a look and go through all this. Only uh, League Loaded is the French League. Uh, except, reasonable. I've done no talk really of uh, research in the history of the club. Uh, I know they're extremely successful. I think they're now classed as France's most successful club. Uh, I'm happy to be just judged on that. It'll be a good chance to meet the journalist. Um, hope to have a long and successful career. Yes, please. Be great to meet my backroom staff. And I'll let you know if I need anything. So, exit. Let's see what our budget's going to be. 55k a week is quite good. £160 million pound already done for Mbappe. Probably going to turn how pronounce that a bit better. Responsibilities. Turn on interviews. I set up so that it would be done automatically. Friendly matches. That's supposed to be set up as well. Let me go and do that right away. Change staff responsibilities. Friendly matches. Where's that? That's usually in here, isn't it? So, friendly matches. Uh, handle manage manage friendly matches here we go you can take them confirm come away uh, need a goalkeeper although Ariola should be half decent I'd imagine me yeah, looks okay maybe want to go and do a bit better need a centre back wage budget we're struggling though some players aren't the strongest physically and not create a depth out of the first team. So, there we go. First team squad, we'll have a look at But I kind of want to know what's our transfer budget. So, transfers, 44 million. That's not too bad. We can work with that. Potential transfer cost under 60 million. Ouch. Um, so, this is our team. So, we've got Trap, Ali Ariola. Trap. Is he not maybe a better option than Ariola? I'll assess both of these off camera. Right, go again, Marcanos, Alves that can all play right back, Marcanos can Silva, this lad, Kim Pempe can all play centre back, we've got Yuri and Kurzawa at centre uh, left back, Mota, Verratti, Rabu, and Kunku, uh, Pastore, uh, Leceso and Draxler as midfielders, wingers Ben Arfa will class as a winger, Moria, Neymar, and Di Maria. Up front we've got Mab and Mbappe as well, and Cavani as a striker, so with a few guys that can play in multiple positions. So, fairly happy with that. Our team dynamics, let's have a look at our social groups. So, core social group is Mora, Silva, Cavani, Mota, Di Maria, Munier, Pastore, Marcanos, Ferrati, Neymar, Danny Alves, eh, Lucello, and Trap. Secondary group of Gorgon, Ariel, Kempe, and Kugu, and another one with Mbappe, Rabiot, and Kurzawa. Others, Draxler, Ben Arfa, and Yuri. Ben Arfa, I used him on my Blackburn save last year. I'm probably just going to get rid of him because of that, if we can do it. Um, so, we have 44 million to spend. Our first game that we will record, which will be this episode, will be this game here on the 29th. So, going to skip to that. I'm going to have a look and see if we can fill out some of these issues that I've spotted at the club already. And I'll catch you in just a second with that, guys. So what I didn't realise when I said I would do this game was it'd be like it's the equivalent of the French Community Shield is my sort of understanding of it. Trophy des Champions. Maybe should have expected that. We did obviously then draw AS Monaco. It's a sort of a bit of a friendly game. But why not do it anyway? Makes sense. It's a trophy on the line. It's AS Monaco who is going to be our biggest rivals. So it makes sense to me that we work on this game. We highlight it. It comes onto the channel. It is episode one. 
Transfer wise, transfer history, we made one signing. Diego Godin cost 53 million at asked the board to go and get him. After being recommended by scouts, he was one of about seven or eight defenders that I scouted, and he was the highest recommended. I think he had 90 recommendation by my scouts. As you can see, a very, very good central defender. A lot of guys gone on loan, nothing really to talk about. Uh, that includes Ben Arfa, I couldn't get rid of him. Nkudu, Nkung, Kunku, whatever you call him. Have tried to get rid of a couple of other players, Lucas Moria and De, De Maria. Don't see being too close to the squad. I think uh, Neymar can cover both sides, Drax or can cover both sides. I think they're both going to be a bit surplus to the requirements. And we can pick up about 30 40 million for both. So I accepted a bid from Man City and Man United, respectively. I rejected a bid from Bayern Munich for Lucas. That money will get reinvested, hopefully, in a goalkeeper. As you see, transfer budget remaining 87000 Not really PSG money. I spent all my money on a defender, which was required. They also make a bid for a couple of goalkeepers, but basically, once the, the Godin deal went through, my transfer budget was swallowed up and had to pull out of all those deals. Hadn't had any deals accepted anyway. I think the best one was that I'd made a bid about 10 million, uh, sorry, 20 million for Jean Luigi Bouvon. Uh, this is the team we're going to go with is Oreo and go Alves, Silva, Godin, Kurzawa, Mota, Rabiot, Ferrati, Mbappe, Neymar, and Cavani. Uh, fairly happy with this team. Godin slotted straight in as a sort of key influential player. Uh, our favourites for the game, I've already done the briefing, so they're going to go a bit more direct if um, I didn't select my subs correctly. That's not good. That is not good. Dressing room. Team talk. Passionate, please. Go on this for them. And talk to players. Select players. Defense. Talk to players. Passionate again. I have faith in you be the difference. Select players. Midfield. Talk to players. Passionate again. Go to the exact same. Basically, just try and do what you I do normally. We're going to go with our usual sort of um, high intensity style with. Um, when I could say high intensity style, I mean passing style that we always do. We're going to quickly sort out our settings. We're going to go with director camera, replays, 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 none. Uh, nope. Steady highlight. Key. We're not. We're going down. 17 seconds in. I'm sorting this out. This is going well. During highlights, we'll go for about there, and between highlights, we'll go there. Sounds will switch off. I can't believe we're a goal down already. Let's go back and watch this goal. They kicked off. I've got this set way too high. Did that actually change? Yes, it did. And they basically ran down the wing. And scored. Not much more I can do with that. Uh, can we go back to live, please? There we go. That's how that works. So, not the best start. In fact, pretty awful start. So, I've already said to them to go more direct after one goal. And that's what they're doing. Neymar with the corner. I've not set my set pieces yet. Because I want to see what kind of things are going to happen. Where the AI is going to set up. Before I do that, Thiago Silva picks up. Danny Alves. Thiago Mota picked up a knock already. And he's going to play it back to the goalkeeper. Areola. <clears throat> Areola brings it out of the goal, launches forward, looking for Ribia, the guy's name who I'm going to butcher it pronounce so many times in this season. Ribiot, I think. Verratti. It's a decent ball. Can Mbappe get there? No, he can't. It comes out to Kurzawa. Verratti again. Mbappe. Guess his former club hits the post. Ah. So close from the on loan. Soon to sign for £160 million, Monaco man. 28 minutes in, throw into Monaco. João Moutinho, Telemans. Ronnie Lopez. Diaby. Mota. Lamar. We're 2 all down. They've had two shots, I think. Two crosses, and it's worked, resulted in two goals. They told me they nerfed crossing. Frustrating things. 
two crosses, two goals for Monaco. Not really sure what to make of that. To be honest, halftime will bring off Mota, try and change things around, make things work. So, 2 0 down at half time. Let's go to tactics. We'll bring off Mota for Pastore. Swap Mas Pastore and Verratti and Rabiot about, maybe. Does that work? Nope. It's going to kind of have to because I've got no defensive midfielder on the bench. Ouch. Uh, pitch wise, nope. Team talk. Go aggressive. Show me something else. Let's motivate them, try and get them going. Rabiot. Alves. Verratti. Tactics. What can we do to change this? Can we bring on Mora maybe? We'll bring on him for Mbappe because he's having a horror game against his former club. We will confirm that sub. Neymar also having a horror game on the left wing. So I don't really want to bring him off, but if it doesn't improve 6.3, it hasn't really. We're going to bring him off as well. Ah, yeah. 2 0 down. Not looking good. 6.3s across our attacking line. Let's pause. Let's make some tactical changes. Let's go. Why is this not on control? I'm going to go attacking. This should have been on control. Don't know why that's not there. This should have been on fluid as well. So I'm not sure why that's not been there. Much higher tempo. More direct passing. Let's not play it out of defence. Let's not look work into the box. Okay. There we go. Let's try this. Pitch. Another highlight. Monaco's in our final third. Lamar. Man with the assist for the second goal. He's found George, who's found acres of space. It's another cross. Ariola catches it this time. Spent 53 million on a defender, and right now we're 2 0 down. Because I felt our attacking line was strong enough. Julian Draxler. Pastore. Launch forward for Cavani. Cavani gets in. Sabasic saves. <sighs> Not looking good right now. Jemerson. Glick. Tremolinas, Ronnie Lopez, some great names in this Monaco team. Toure, oh he's just gone past Kurzawa like he wasn't even there. That's not ideal, it's a ball in Godin blocks. Pastore, can he get it forward? He is our advanced playmaker. I was a bit confused about what was going on there when our player ran away from the ball, but it's a free kick. Again, I've not set up set pieces. Verratti. With this free kick. Launches it in. Pastore. Run onto the wing because it's got no support. Cross blocked. Verratti. Plays it forward for Pastore again. Cross blocked again and into the hands of Sabasic. Feel like I want to say crosses seem a bit nerfed, but then we've conceded two goals out of two goals scored in this game via crosses, so I'm a bit nervous in saying that right now. Tellymans. Lamar again. Dekababi. Butchered that name. Lamar. Moutinho. Tellymans. Pass blocked. Falls for Pastore kindly. Tellymans goes right through him. Another free kick. Looks like Verratti is going to take this one as well. Play to Kurzawa. Lucas Moria. Draxler. Good play, bit of play by Julian Draxler. Back to Moria. Lucas. has got a bit of pace, I think. Decent ball in. Glick. Falls to Draxler. Our two subs linking up, we're back in this game. And Monaco will kick off. Daughter's having night terrors again. Seems every episode I try and record when the kids are here, she has night terrors during them. 
we're recording this quite late right now why is this froze like here can we skip this forward please hello Falcao kicks off Diakababi long highlight to kick off there Diakahabi Tellymans Mobula plays it forward for Falcao Godin intercepts but his touch for a 53 million pound defender is awful Mabula Tellymans Falcao Falcao even Diakababi Oh, his pass is poor. Pastore intercepts. Plays it forward for Cavani. Can we hit them on the counter here? We've got Lucas in front. He's not going to get there above George. Good defending from the Monaco fullback there. Glick. Jemerson. Moutinho. Back to Glick. Tellymans. Launch forward. Thiago Silva in a race here. His touch is a bit better than Godinzo. He maintains control. Areola. Got to go through all my individual instructions as well. Forgetting to do that. Pastore. Verratti. Pastore. Forward for Cavani. That's a monster tap go there from Jemerson. Tellymans. Plays it out to Lamar. Danny Alves was two minds whether to come for him or not. Good tackle flow from Danny Alves this time. Equal to Thomas Lamar, player who, if I didn't have Neymar, I'd probably have looked at, to be honest. Diakababi, Danny Alves gives away a silly free kick there, but it's in a decent area. We've got numbers back. <coughs> Should hopefully be able to defend this and maybe counter attack. <coughs> Excuse me, voice going there. Godin clears away. Kurzawa. Well slowly and eventually get there launch forward for Draxler, Glick intercepts play forward for Diakababi it's ushered by Thiago Silva who fouls unfortunately ah. I was hoping for a better start to this series this tournament doesn't really matter too much but to be losing to the one team that we need to be comfortably beating is not fun it's a really clever free kick this Hit the post though, very unlucky from Monaco there. That was a very, very clever free kick to just play it into that area. Not seen that in Football Manager before, so I'm pretty impressed to see the AI trying stuff like that now. Wonder how it'll be easy it'll be to recreate something like that in the set piece manager. If you're liking this, go and give a like and subscribe. By the way, guys, there'll be plenty more content like this coming out. Uh, this series will run for a little while. And we've got other series that will come out afterwards. I also promised a football manager for beginner series. I was planning on doing that while doing this episode. Um, at least the first couple of episodes for it. I've not got the thumbnail ready. So that will come in the next couple of days. Um, in general, fairly happy with doing that. But that will still come out. So if you're interested in that or you know someone that you would like to play football manager with, let them know so that they can tune in and see that made a really good tutorial for FM17 that was probably one of the pride episode well videos that I done on this channel probably the best episode I did so being really keen to follow that up with something else I just didn't really want to do that during an FM17 cycle when it was coming to an end when I was able to really record again Rabiot intercepts here Pastore Draxler the goal scorer Verratti so as I was saying I do plan on still doing that it will come out it won't come out tonight. I planned on doing it the minute the beta released, basically. Um, but I've prioritised trying to get this out because I've got the thumbnail ready for this or not for that. And I want everything to be ready in time. Rabiot. Intercepts again. He's been pretty decent since moving into that holding role in the second half. Verratti. Pastore. Draxler. Verratti. Cavani. Getting forced back and back and back there, but Cavani just holds onto the ball for far too long there. Apparently, I've not confirmed changes, so let's do whatever the confirmed changes that I haven't done. Tactics. Let's go overload now. Overload. Confirm changes. Because last 10 minutes, we want to get back into this game. 
force extra time at worst. Maybe try and nick two goals. We've definitely got the upper hand right now though. Telemans intercepts, Matinho, Mabola in all sorts of space. Falcao. Mabola has got his winger outside uh, full back outside him as well. It's a decent ball and suddenly they're in again. He's selfish though. Had two men open in the middle. It doesn't look for either of them. We get away with that. They've made their last sub. It's actually Glick who's came off. He's had a very, very good game. So I'm a little bit glad to see him coming off to be honest. Matinho. Tellymans. Falcao. Against Kurzawa and Godin. He's gone past Godin. And suddenly he just runs like Usain Bolt. Another completed cross for Monaco. Doesn't come of anything. Ariel American. A good save. Lamar off the post. Godin scrambles away. As we search for this game, Monaco are piling on the pressure. George. With the ball in. Jovatic. Loses out, but it's a came back to a Monaco short. Telemans. Can we get it for get the ball, get it forward? Falcao has got to be offside there, surely. Apparently not. Ariola has it. Come on, one more attack, guys. One more attack. Give me one more. It's not gonna happen. Five minutes of injury time and we're not seeing anything. Do have a corner though, right at the end. Verratti, that is poor. That is very poor. Nowhere near a blue shirt. We've lost two one. Monaco win this. Dressing room we go to. They're gonna go aggressive and say you're far from pleased. Gonna leave the match. Oh so disappointed with that result. Seeing this, this loading screen bit here seems to be quite a bit slower than previous, and we're not getting our goal scorers here now. I don't like that too much. Mm. Mota out for one to two days. Uh, we will go to schedule. When will we come back? So that was then. Come back for the Leon game. Unless this. Or we we'll come back for the Champions League game. No, we're we'll come back for the Champions League game. Unless it's a sort of seed four team that nobody's ever heard of. So it'll be the Champions League game or the Olympic Leon game that we come back for. I will hopefully catch you then, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I've loved doing this episode. Loving Football Manager 17 so far. Sorry, 18 so far. Slip of old habits. And I will hopefully catch you all next time.